thank you for viewing this video today. I want to talk to you about brokenness and the repairing of broken walls. You know, in Luke chapter 4, verse 18, Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. He also says that he has come to bind up the brokenhearted. You know, behind me, you see a building that is uh, in, in need of repair. It has broken out windows. It has broken down walls. You know, and there are many individuals uh, that you, we may even know individually uh, that are going through some brokenness in their lives. Broken marriages, broken relationships, uh, broken uh, in their spiritual life. Uh, just a, uh, a time of oppression and a time of, of the enemy coming in and, and bringing weapons against uh, our friends, our family, uh, the body of Christ. And so as we think about this today, I want you to, uh, to be in prayer for those individuals that are going through brokenheartedness right now. Because Jesus is the one that heals the oppressed and heals the brokenhearted. You know, in Isaiah 58, um, he, he is called the repairer of the, the brokenness or the repair of those places that have been breached and, and separated. Uh, he's called uh, the repairer, the one who will raise up the old waste places. And this this right here is, a, is an old waste place uh, that certainly could be rebuilt uh, if someone uh, desired to do so. Jesus desires to to build up those broken places and to repair uh, the, the areas uh, that the enemy has tried to come in and steal, kill, and destroy. You know, in, in Jeremiah uh, chapter 18, where he tells Jeremiah, the Lord does, to go down to the potter's house. And he says in, um, in verse 4, but the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as it seemed best to him. You know, there are times when in our lives there is a reshaping going on. And the potter, the Lord himself, wants to take us and take our lives and reshape them as he sees fit, as he gives him good pleasure uh, to do so. And the marred, the marred vessels, the broken vessels, he wants to mend those. He wants to put them back together and, and shape them into new vessels that he can, uh, that will be fit for the master's use golden vessels, vessels of honor in the Lord's house. You know, if there if there is a brokenness in you today, I am telling you that Jesus is the healer. He can come in and he can heal those broken places. He can heal your body from disease. He can heal your mind from from oppression and mental anxiety and 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 fear. He can do all of those things because He is the great I Am. I'm telling you today, trust the Lord with your life. Trust the Lord with your finances. Trust the Lord with your children. Trust the Lord uh, with your bodies and minds. Trust the Lord with your for your marriages. Jesus is the one who can take and repair and make new again every part of your life. And I pray for you this day that you be healed in your spirit and in your soul, in your mind, in your body, in every area of your life where there has been any brokenness that you will let Jesus come in, the Word of God, 
come in to you today and the Spirit of the living God to come and hover over you and minister to your every need because He's the answer to every problem. He is the answer to everything that we deal with in this life. God bless you today. I love you. If you need prayer, please go to our website and hisfountain.net and, and just uh, give us your prayer request and we will pray with you. Uh, we want to hear from you. And we thank you for, for viewing these videos. Thank you. And God bless you today.